Oh, uh, oh. So, apparently, it seems that I have forgotten something. So, when doing beams, aside from the way I showed you in the previous video with Helper, you can also do it away with X-Pods, as this user was nice enough to point out to me. I clearly forgot about this. But you can do it this way too. So, for the sake of quickness, I will do a lot of copy and pasting and uh, changing. And then I will show you quickly how to go about that way. It shouldn't take too long, ideally. But uh, yeah, we'll see. So, super has the same name, can have that. So, this will be down back uh, two punches. Uh, same thing essentially. Back two punches. We'll go to state uh, 3100 for this one. Okay, so now hyper move 3000. We're going to copy and paste it. Make it its own number. 100. Okay, so now this is the other way. So I'm using the exact same animation. Eh, as soon as I get there. Okay. So uh, I'll just copy the whole thing actually, just make it a brand new animation. It's just easier to be organized that way. Okay. So yes. So by doing it with an X-Plot, basically you're having the hitboxes on the character himself. So on Kung Fu Man, I would have the red hitboxes going like so. And the easiest way to get this in every frame without making it a default, because if you make it a default, um, even on frames where it's not supposed to be there, it's still there. I mean, yeah, ideally you could, but um, there is this button here where it lets you copy collision box from previous frame. I would just click that. It, it's a little, um, a little bit much in terms of work, but it's better than using a default if you don't need to use a default. See, I just defaulted that. I didn't need to. There we go. Okay, so this I'm gonna name this one Beam. Explode, just so I know. Yeah, and then for this one, so if you recall, uh, the beam for the first one, it just kind of kept going, and then that's it. I used a, um, a helper, so I had the control over the beam, so I was able to scale it down using code. Now, because I do not have a helper, I'm using an exploit. I need to end the exploit myself with an animation. So I actually don't have the proper animation for this. So I actually scaled it down myself. So like that. That's just the easiest way to make it disappear. And click this and click this to give everything the same property. So now the beam looks like this. Oh, well, let me remove this loop. There we go. Yep, so it goes out, shoots, and scales down on its own, and that's it, it's done. Uh, this red hitbox here, this actually doesn't do anything now because this is going to be an x -plot. And remember, the uh, person has it now. The character, in particular, Kung Fu's man. I'm just going to erase all these now. It's, you don't really need to erase it if you're copying, but for the sake of the correction in, in this video with an alternative way, I just want to show you. So, and also, um, uh, since I, I did the base work already with the helper, I'm going to use the same hit depth from the helper into the Kung Fu Man. There we go. So the beam is fine. 3, 10. All right. So now, okay. So this is Kung Fu Man. Take out the helper. We got the super pause. We got changing back to normal. So now let's just do a quickie of this. And the command is different for this one. It's down back. So. See, so that's how it's supposed to be. Now we're gonna use a helper. I mean, sorry, not a helper. We're gonna use an explode. Adam element equals five. Animation 31, 10, 31, 10. Position will be pretty much the same as where I had the helper spawn. Um, right there, post type is gonna be player one, me. Bind time will be negative one, which means it'll even corner push is not necessary because this is the same as corner push. Um, velocity, excel, random, remove. Remove time minus two, yes. Minus two means when the animation's finished playing, it's gonna remove itself. 
pause move time zero and then super move time equals zero as well just to add that in there sprite priority will be three shadow on top own pal will be one remove on get hit yes by having this line if you get hit the uh, the x will kill itself that's great okay so now we're doing this in steps pretty much so first was to test the animation now is to test the uh, xplod okay and now on the beam we're going to copy the hit def paste it all up in here everything's the same pretty much for the um the hit boxes well the uh, hit yeah a little bit of hit def oh wait did i forget to do something nope 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 oh of course I didn't change animation so I would, no matter how many times I would try that scenario just now it would never work because the animation was different and he didn't have the boxes see so definitely now too many hits so this has to be ignore hit pause equals zero so this way it pauses with me. Um, I'll have to change this to like a five or something. I think. I actually can't think right now. I'm not sure what I'm doing. <laughs> the brain somehow stopped again. Okay, that worked. That's not supposed to happen. But yeah, <clears> the <throat> only thing now is Looky there. Head sparks down there somewhere. So I'm just gonna guess a number like forty. And that should be fine. Okay, maybe forty's not enough. Yeah, forty's not enough. That's more like a sixty. Yeah, it's a sixty kind of place. So Yeah, see it has that same priority thing. Which is odd that it has that. You definitely get a lot more hits with the X-Plod way. Um, that is so weird that... Oh no. Oh, okay, now that... See, I don't need the prescribed priority thing because it's the player that's hitting, not the helper. So, it's not necessary. x has priority over these things for some reason. So yeah. This is the helper. And this is the X-Plot. Yeah. Very strange, isn't it? Both ways work. You have to um, figure out what's best for the way you're doing. I feel the helper has more control, but if you're doing a quick beam for a character, like a like a Goku or something, then the X-Plot's fine. Well, that's all for the clearing up now. Bye!